This is a very nice exponential and algebraic equation we can solve. So here, what do we have is 8. So I can think of converting it into 2 cube. Then I have 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 130. Here I have 2 to the power of x. I can just reshuffle it by using this law. a to the power of m whole to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn, right? They are multiplied together. Also, you can make it reverse a to the power of n whole to the power of m. So, I'm just going to do that. So, we have 2 to the power of x now whole to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130. Now, as you can see, I have 2 power x, 2 to the power of x here. I let, so we're going to take let y is equal to 2 to the power of x and then it will be easier to solve. So we have y cube plus y is equal to 130. Now that's superb. Now we've got an equation that is cubic equation. So we, sh we should have three solutions for that. Let's see what are those. So we have just bring 130 this side. 1y cube plus y minus 130 equals to 0. What can we do is now you have 130, isn't it? So 130 can be uh, divided into 26 into 5. Yes, 26 into 5 gives 130. So we can write y in terms of 26 as uh, 26y minus 25y. 26 minus 25 is 1. So we'll get 1y. That's right. So we'll substitute it here. We get y cube minus 25y. What do I have here? plus 26y will give me plus y minus 130 equals to 0. Now what can we do is we can take out the common factor. From here I can take out y. So I'm left with y squared minus 25. And from here I can take out 26. So I'm left with y minus 5 is equal to 0. That's easy, right? Now what can we do is we have got y square minus 25. I cannot take out anything common. So I'm going to substitute an identity. What I know is a square minus b square. That is a plus b times a minus b. So let me write it down. So I have y plus 5 times y minus 5. Then I have plus 26 times y minus 5 is equal to 0. Then what can we do in this? Now I have y minus 5 common, so I'm going to take that out. So y minus 5, if I've taken out, I'm left with y into y plus 5 here and plus 26 here. And I'm going to close this equals to 0. Now we have got one solution that is y minus 5, as you can see. So we have y minus 5 is equal to 0. And then we have another one. Uh, which is this thing. Let me solve for this. We have y into y, y square plus 5y plus 26 is equal to 0. This is another solution and that's in that's a quadratic form. Now we're going to find the discriminant that is delta b square minus 4ac. So what is our b? a is 1, b is 5 and c is 26 so let us just substitute and find out b square that's 5 squared minus 4 into 1 into 26 so 25 minus 104 that gives minus 79 which is less than 0 so you don't have real solutions no real roots for this one so let's cancel it out you don't want this so we're going to find it for this y minus 5 equals to 0. So y is equal to 5 and that's our solution. But what is y? We have taken before that y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So let us substitute it back and check our answers. y is equal to 5 and y is 2 to the power of x which is equal to 5 now. How to solve this kind of equation now? 2 to the power of x equals to 5. We can apply log on both sides so let's apply log log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5 
now what can you do divide both sides by log 2 yes log 2 and log 2 so what do we get now do you know this this thing whenever you have something like this log a to the base c over log b to the base c you can write it as log a to the base b you have same base here so you can write it as log a to the base b so here we have x coming this way x log 2 over log 2 so we can write this as log 5 to the base 2 log 2 log 2 here gets cancelled so we have x is equal to log 5 to the base 2 this is what we got the value of x in this so let's let's try another method to find it out what kind of method we can use in this i'll show you that's 2 to the power of x equals to 5 is that right you can take log base 5 on both sides so log 2 to the power of x to the base 5 is equal to log 5 to the base 5 now you just uh, send x this side so you have x log 2 to the base 5 is equal to log 5 whenever you have something like this log a to the base a is equal to 1 so this is 1 so here we have x is equal to 1 over log 2 to the base 5 so we've got this x is equal to 1 over log 2 to the base 5 and this can be written as x is equal to you can just reverse it so it becomes log 5 to the base 2 and it's the same as before what we got with this method as well now if we want to check it so let's check for the answer what was our question that was 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130 let's verify if this answer is right or not so we have 8 what is it log 5 to the base 2 so we just put it log 5 to the base 2 plus 2 to the power of log 5 to the base 2 is equal to 130 as you know log 5 to the base 2 can be written as log 5 to the base 2 is equal to log 5 over log 2 and this is approximately log 5 is 0 0.699 over 0 0.301 and that's nearly equal to 2.32 so let's substitute it back 2.32 so we have 8 to the power of 2.32 plus 2 to the power of 2.32 is equal to 130 and this 8 to the power of 2.32 is 125.018 plus 2 to the power of 2.32 is 5.00 is equal to 130. Let's add them up. So we have 130 is equal to 130 and hence that's right. So the value of x is log 5 to the base 2. Absolutely right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. Have fun.